guys. Six weeks out. I'm out doing my walkabout. So I'm doing the field. Um, let me spin around here. Big field. Bigger field. Uh, can't see. There's mountains back there. Somewhere in this mug. There they are. A little bit of them. Um, so I'm out in the field getting in today's miles. Um, work is kicking my butt. <laughs> I get home and I'm absolutely exhausted. Like almost don't even have the energy to eat, but I have to because I need the nutrients. Um, and I'm figuring the only way to really, aside from time, get my stamina back is making sure that I get in at least two miles a day. So my commitment to myself for the next month is to walk two miles a day, every single day, uh, days off and all. Today I was supposed to be at work, but one of my coworkers wanted an extra shift and my boss suggested that maybe I could give her mine, which gives her work, which is great, and it gives me a day off to rest. So I actually slept until noon today, which shows you how much I needed the rest. Um, that was beautiful. Thank you, Nicole. Oh my God, I love you, Nicole. Um, so anyhow, that was the win-win. Uh, and I'm out doing my walkabout. Um, it's beautiful today. I'm, of course, perpetually cold. However, in the mail, came this beautiful, let me turn around here, this beautiful Aran sweater from Ireland. It's actual wool, uh, hand knit, really well made. I love it. I've wanted one for decades. And so this was a gift to myself since I'm super cold all the time. And you know what, right now, my hands are warm. I'm not even cold. It's beautiful. Of course, I'm dressed from head to toe in wool. I have this, I have the thick sweater, I have, let me get under here, I have a wool t-shirt, I have uh, a wool dress, and when I found again, like from the beginning, I have wool socks. <laughs> so. Um, that said, wool is beautiful fiber. Fortunately, the under layers that are next to my skin are a very fine merino wool and they're not itchy. Sweater's a little itchy, but it's mostly over clothes, so that's okay. Um, so yeah, I'm bundling up. I'm getting in my walk. Uh, today I have decided that my goal is to get at least three laps around this field. Um, and if I feel ambitious enough when I finish the three, hello truck, if I feel business, biz, ambitious enough, like I said, when I finish the three, I may go for four. And if I do four times around this giant field, it will be the most I have done since before surgery. Um, I do use an app called My Virtual Mission. And what I do with that app is I plot out routes. So five years ago, I started a route, waiting for the car. I started a route that was a direct as the bird flies straight across the ocean, Sacramento, California to Stonehenge on the Salisbury Plains in England. Well, my uh, app, was auto tracking and it stopped for a while. So I had to go in and manually input all of the data for all of the miles that I have walked in the last five years. Um, this walk is well over 5,000 miles long. And uh, I am pleased to report that I am now on the last 330 miles. I will be finishing this app, this long walk. Um, that app is called My Virtual Mission. I love it. Um, they also work with a group called The Conqueror, and The Conqueror has these virtual walks that you can take that are per they're 100% mapped out. It's great. Like I walked the distance of the Grand Canyon for one of them, 
and everywhere along they've got a street view so you can actually you put in your miles that you've done for the day walking biking hiking however you did it mine's always walking because it's low impact and you can do a spin around and you can see what the scenery is like wherever you would have been if you were actually there i have walked the length of england from the southernmost point of england all the way up to the tippy top of Scotland called John of Groat, John O. Groats, and it's called Le Jog, which is short for the starting end, the starting point and the ending point. Um, I've done a whole bunch of them and they're really fun. You can do them by yourself, you can do them as a team. Um, you can divvy up the miles as a team if you want, if it's one of the long ones. Uh, I walked Hadrian's Wall and you get these really cool with the with these conqueror events you get these really nice medals so like if you had run a race and at the end you get your medal well with these you log in your miles um obviously people could cheat if they wanted to but but what's the point you're cheating yourself you got to get out there and do it so i've done a bunch of them the medals are really fun um and I've got a new one that I just barely started with them. Where, where am I walking? Oh, I'm walking the ring road in Iceland. So basically, I'm starting at Reykjavik in Iceland and I am walking all the way around Iceland. It is a long walk. I think it's 3,000 miles? I don't remember off the top of my head. I can check on that. But um, it's delightful. And again, everywhere you go, you can look at the street view. So you can look at the overview, you can look at the satellite map, and you can look at the street view and spin around so you can see what it looks like when you're, what is the scenery like? Are you along the ocean? Are you walking through a tiny village? Are you walking across a glacier? Um, it's, it's wonderful. And I've been doing these for probably about six years now. Um, took a little bit of a break um because life got busy and you know what life is too short to get too busy for that so back to it anyhow so here I am six weeks out uh currently doing my walk around the field and at the same time finishing up my walk to Stonehenge and I have just barely started my walk around Iceland uh, I think I'm 25 miles into that walk so far since I started it like a week ago <laughs> so I'm not making fast progress but I'm making progress so um, I don't have anything to gain by them but I highly recommend the app my virtual mission it is free to use you can either plot one of your uh, own routes whatever you want to plot on the map or you can go with one of the conqueror events and there's a fee for those but that fee is basically covering basically what they did to lay the infrastructure get all the street views all of the overview stuff going and of course the cost of your metal manufacturing and shipping um, so there's a fee for those but it's pretty modest you can get t-shirts if you want to collect the t-shirts um, so the two kind of work hand in hand and I love them. Now with my virtual mission, um, if you do choose to upgrade and pay for the premium, what you get for that extra is the ability to run more than one event at a time. So like right now, I've got two running simultaneously. Um, obviously the Stonehenge one, I started it five years ago and it is, uh, a long running one literally very long running um, and so I'm when I had to manually input the data because I stopped using a Fitbit which auto loaded to it and I switched over to uh, Samsung Health because my watch tracks it um, oh, sorry I'm having a hard time thinking as I'm puffing my way around the field anyhow when I switched over it stopped tracking and so I had to go in and manually put all that in. 
Well, since then, I started the other, um, I started the other walk around Iceland, and I since I didn't want all of the miles to apply to Iceland that applied to Stonehenge, um, I just was able to easily select where I wanted to allocate those miles. So you can run them at the same time, or you can run them one at a time and keep doing one after the other after the other. So whatever works for you. Um, for me, it's a fun way to keep going. And sometimes I just wanna walk a little longer because I know there's something just up the road on that virtual walk and I really wanna see what it is. Um, so that's like super exciting. It's a fun tool for me. So I thought I'd share that with you. At any rate, I'm gonna go because I'm continuing my walk. I am on lap two around the field. Um, the way I'm feeling, I think I'll get the four. So yay me. Uh, at any rate, hope you are all well. Hope you all have a safe and wonderful new year. Um, and this is me, six weeks out. Um, oh, wait wise, I have been stuck <laughs> for two weeks. Scale hasn't moved at all. It has stayed at the same exact weight, which is 16 pounds down since surgery, 47 pounds down from my highest. However, uh, I did take another inch off my waist, so it's working. And I don't let it get to me because mathematically, dude, what I'm taking in and what I'm putting out, there is no way I am not actually metabolizing fat and burning it. Um, it's just a mathematical impossibility. So most likely what's happening is some of that energy is still shunting towards healing. Um, from what I hear, it's six to eight weeks before your stomach is completely healed inside. Um, and that's okay. You know, I'm trusting the process. It's gonna work for me. Eating wise, uh, Thursday, so that's tomorrow, I graduate to real food, yay! Obviously, no breads, no grains for at least a total of six months, possibly longer, but I don't really do a lot of grains anyhow, so that's fine with me. And, um, yeah, it's it starts out, so I do a month of regular food, but it's very small amounts, so generally about two ounces at a time is more than enough to fill me. Um, and then over that month, you gradually work up to about a four ounce portion and you spend basically another, well, till you're th three months, at least three months out past surgery, three to four months out. Um, and then at that point, you're at four ounces possibly five but I don't want to stretch out my lovely new stomach which is a powerful tool for me so I'm just gonna let it dictate it and I'm gonna stick with a max of four ounces and so if we go out and something is super super delicious that's awesome because I'm gonna be eating it probably for a week <laughs> given the size of the portions um, unless less helps me out with it so that's where we're at with that Alrighty, anyhow, off I go. I'm gonna continue my walk. You guys have a delightful, marvelous, wonderful, safe, happy, healthy new year. And uh, may 2020 live in infamy forever and never taunt us ever again. 2021, you better not get any bad ideas. We wanna start to turn this thing around so we can actually have life again. It might be life 2.0, but that's what we want. Life. Take care.